viewers all around the world, continue to pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Remember that distance is never a hindrance. Wherever you are all around the world, you are not handicapped. For the supernatural power of God is transferable to genuine believers. All you have to do is believe. Please, a demand on the already existing anointing right now and catch the fire of the Holy Spirit. Disconnect yourself completely from your past. These are wonderful promises. Satan use your past to connect. Anytime you try to move, they pull you back. You are supposed to be greater than the person you are now. But because of that, you need to free yourself. By the grace of God, I have disconnected myself. Disconnected myself from the past. I'm Apostle Jonathan from the Republic of Congo. Satan, you Lucifer, serpent, ancient covenants, ancestral spirits, idols, idols, queen of all queens, in the kingdom of darkness, holy God fire, 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 fire. Destroy all of them. Jesus Christ. I sell fire to Satan himself. Lucifer. Snake. Fire. Turn the name of Jesus Christ. Fire. Fire. I sell fire to the north, south, east, and west. Turn the name of Jesus Christ.
the kingdom of darkness. Holy Ghost fire. Tear. 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 What have you done to her? Speak and answer me. What have you done to her and her marriage? Huh? All kings in the kingdom of darkness. Satan. Lucifer. Prince of darkness. Prince of darkness. Serpent. Holy God fire. Tear. 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 I sell fire to the ground. And I sell fire to the ocean where you are hiding. Indian Ocean. Atlantic Ocean. Pacific Ocean. Pacific Ocean. River Niger. River Benue. All forests. Holy God fire. Tear. 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 Send fire to them. There is no escape. Anywhere you go, Holy Ghost fire. I sell fire to the air. Turn the name of Jesus Christ. Speak louder. Turn the name of Jesus Christ. All of you that are hiding in hell for years. Turn. 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 The eyes, the face. Your evil crowns. Your kingdoms. Her womb. The back. Your crowns and your evil rings. The back, the back, the back. You wicked snake. Move, you snake. Stand up. Stand and speak. What are you doing in her? Who are you? I sell fire to the tongue and to the voice. Tear! Tear! I sell fire to the tongue and to the voice. I sell fire to the marine world. Tear the name of Jesus Christ. I destroy everything in her life. I made her nothing. What have you destroyed? <laughs> Speak louder. What have you destroyed in her? Speak louder. Turn the name of Jesus Christ. What have you destroyed in her? What have you destroyed? What have you done to her marriage? Huh? That is no marriage. Hatred, fighting, disagreement. Nothing like marriage in her life. She's just waiting her time. Let me be. Who are you that destroyed her marriage? <laughs> caused her to fight. <laughs> I'm quarrel. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Speak and answer me quickly. Who are you? <laughs> they dedicated all of them to me. They are to worship me. They are to serve me. 
Ah, oh, we are many, 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 many. She, 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 I destroy everything in them. Everything in them. Nothing is working. No marriage. No heart. No money. Abject poverty. They disobeyed me. Mention your names. I am the ghost that your father served. They refused to serve me. Ah. What did you do to members of our family? Ah. They die prematurely. They bury youth all the years. Every time, bury a bury a for youth. I kill them all. How have you been? I kill them all. How have you been doing that? I played them with strange sickness. Like what? Mention the I names of them the stubborn. Some die of HIV. Some die of accident, heart attack. I kill every year. I kill. I kill a bury every year in that family. They don't live up to 40 something years. They will die. Some are buried. No marriage. If they marry, no peace. They will be out of the husband's house. And I will kill them. They refuse to worship me. They refuse to serve me. They dumped me. I am here to fight back. Now let me be. Let me be. I make her stop. I make her stop. She has a strong heart. When she's angry, she don't fear anyone. She can stand and challenge you no matter who you are. I make her give her a strong heart. Unforgiving spirit. I want to go. I want to go. I don't like this place. I want to leave. What is in this place that destroys you? I you are disturbing my peace. You are disturbing my peace. I want to go. You said you gave the members of the family various deadly sicknesses and diseases. And through them, you have been destroying and killing them prematurely. How many people and how many families all around the world have you destroyed in this manner? How many families have you destroyed in this manner all around the world? Many. What have you been using to destroy them? Many. I connect them to all various trouble. Some are committing suicide, killing themselves. When you refuse to worship me, I will fight you. I am an ancient God that their forefathers serve. They abandoned me, leaving me in hunger. Nobody appealed to me. I'm fighting back. I'm here to fight back. You people should let me be. Everyone, let me listen to me, you evil spirits, the ancient gods. Everyone is created by God to worship God alone, not idols. Are you not aware of this? We entered an agreement. What kind that of agreement? To save them. Speak louder. Them and their household will worship me forever. We entered an agreement to make a covenant with their forefathers. And they die. We did not break it. They promised their children and forefathers' children will serve me forever. And they refuse to do that. It's a covenant and they must fulfill it. I am going. Let me be. There is no greater covenant than the covenant blood of Jesus Christ. 
Are you aware of that? Speak louder. Answer me quickly. Answer me quickly. I have no business with that name you are calling. I'm on my own errand. I have no business with that name. <sighs> what does the name Jesus Christ do to you, ancient goddess? Ancient gods. What does the name Jesus Christ do to you? It's our enemy. It's our enemy. We have no business with him. You are struggling with laziness and lust. You can improve. God has blessed you with a good future. And you are surrendered with great blessings. Don't let Satan use these weaknesses to destroy you. Don't pull those hammers on. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. What have you done to her marriage? What are the confusions you've caused? <laughs> we are just living together. <laughs> Misunderstanding. Separation. Everybody is going his own way. <laughs> Where is the husband? The husband should come out anywhere you are. How no do you husband. mean? Explain. Explain. I have no husband. I have no husband. I have no husband. What did you say? I'm alone. I have no husband. Why did you say that this lady has no husband? No marriage. No affection. No marriage. Why did you say that this lady has no husband? <laughs> she belongs to me. She belongs to me. <laughs> what do you have to say about this lady by your side? And who is she to you? Introduce yourself first. Shalom. I'm Wabuno Joseph by name. She is my wife. What I'm seeing now is not strange. Um, she has been very wild, very stubborn, and the unforgiveness she mentioned, yes, is true. There is no peace at all in the marriage. Every time it's quarreling, misunderstanding, and to God be the glory, we are here. Thank you, Jesus. Say more about her characters. What you noticed, witnessed, as the husband. In fact, she has been very, very stubborn. There is no peace. There is no happiness in the marriage. To the point that I felt so tired and weak. And I told her that if really she doesn't come for deliverance, the only option was for me to remarry and then divorce her. How long have you been tormented, affected negatively by these unclean spirits in your marriage? For, I have been with her for about 12 years now. And since then, it has been one issue to another. Is fighting, disagreement, quarreling, at the point, insults and all other things. In fact, the reason that happened, my home became like a war zone. People will gather, fight, we say all sorts of things. Can you mention, give examples of those things the evil spirits in her have been leading her to say? 
man of God, my father is in the mortuary, even as I speak now. The dead body of my father is in the mortuary. And ever since my dad died, it has been serious fighting, serious quarreling. She will gather crowds for me. She, in fact, she can lie. Once she lie here, you have no option than to believe what she is saying. So it has been war, 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 problem upon, upon problem. Who else is hiding in the body of this lady? And how else do you operate? Apart from you, Asian gods, the small G-O-D-S. Who else is hiding here? Who else? <laughs> Can't you see I'm a man? How do you see? I'm a man. How do you mean? I'm a man. What's your name? I'm a man. What's your name? I fight a lot and I have the strength. I'm a man. Explain. We have an agreement with her and I get married to her. She just wants to leave me alone. She just wants to abandon me. You think it's easy? <laughs> ah. <laughs> Her mother came from a marine war and she dedicated all her children to the marine spirit. What is the name of the marine spirit? I don't know. You know? I don't know. It's from her mother. She dedicated all the children to marine spirits. We have time bands. When you reach your time, you go. All her siblings are dead. She remains alive. They'll be tormenting her. They don't want her to die, but they want her to suffer. All her siblings are dying. All of them have time limit. When you reach your time, you go. They are on mission, covenant. Wait till your time reach, you go. And all go back to her children. This one seems to be stubborn. Each time they talk, they say, I don't belong. Who is she not to belong? I rule. And you see, she have authority. She have authority when she speak. Everyone listening. And when, wherever she is, she dominates. And when you refuse to bow to her, she gives you trouble. And she's not tired of trouble. She can make trouble for one year without getting tired. I give her strength. She's strong enough. She's not afraid of anybody. And she don't respect anyone where she go anger. I am spirit of anger. How many have you possessed in this manner? How many women? <clears throat> A men have you possessed in the world with this spirit? And what are the evil things you have been pushing them to do? Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus Christ, speak quickly. How many have you possessed in this manner with the spirit of anger? And what are the lives and the evil things you have been pushing them to live or do? Thousands of people are being possessed with anger. Anger. Stay away from your old habits. This is addiction. So you can be very strong spiritually. Amen. Tell him not to mention fire again. I am tired. Let him not mention fire again. My legs. I want to go. I sell fire to the marine world and to the kingdom of darkness and to every part of our soul, spirit, and body. Holy Ghost, through the name of Jesus Christ. Now speak. What other evil things have you been carrying out in this physical world? You evil spirits. Mention all. Don't hide anything. You say that you fight. 
Explain what are other evil things you have been doing in this physical world. You and your evil agents. Speak louder. I speak rude to people. I tell you all manner of nonsense without regarding your age. I will tell you that age is numbered. I don't care of your age. If I'm angry, I will insult you no matter how old you are. I know because you know consign me. I am angry and I tell people such manner of bad words that will torment their hearts. They will be crying of evil words I use on them and I will be happy because that's what makes me happy. If you provoke me, I make you cry. I make you go sorrow, crying. What this lady do to me is bad. I you, can't... Lucifer, what are you doing in her? She I've been asking and <laughs> wanting you to speak, but you are dodging. You are simply pushing <laughs> ancestral spirits, idols, spiritual husband to speak. What about you, Lucifer? <laughs> what are you doing in her? <laughs> speak louder. <laughs> I use her. <laughs> How? I use her. She's my agent. <laughs> How? What kind of work does she do for you as your evil agent? <laughs> as your evil agent, how does she operate? Speak louder. How? You have listened to today's message. What is your decision? It's full of Christ. Speak louder. It's full of Christ. Oh? It's full of Christ. How do you want to go about that? I, I don't know. So. How do you want to follow Christ? To worship him, sir, and Speak louder. to serve him, sir. You need to... Repent. Did you hear what I said? Yes, sir. What did I say? I should repent. Repent. There is no greatness in sin. You want to be known. You want to be popular. You want to be famous. You want to make it. You want to be very great. But there is no greatness in sin. And that is the life you're living. Repent. They are becoming someone who does not listen to advice, except what you want. How long do you want to continue like this? If you give birth to your own son or children, and they are becoming extremely wayward and stubborn, how will you as a father feel? How will you feel? Answer my question quickly. Huh? First, good, say that again. Good. I won't feel good. Huh? I won't feel good, sir. Jesus Christ. You sit and speak quickly and expose everything. How have you been operating? Say them quickly.
How else have you been operating, you Lucifer and Satan? How else? You Satan, Lucifer, snake, ancestral spirits, witches and wizards, idols, idols, spirit of sexual immorality, disobedience, disobedience, anger, Offense, stubbornness, stubbornness, waywardness, waywardness, unforgiveness, unforgiveness, holy God fire, 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 send fire to them. Anger. I pray through her with in anger whenever I want to use her. I will first of all send the spirit of anger in her. And when she's angry, she will start operating. She gets angry out nothing. And when she's angry, she likes being alone. She don't want anybody to come close to her. And I will be speaking through her. I will be speaking through her. Anything I say to her, she will do. And she don't listen to her advice. When she's acting and you are talking, she'll be loading her head like this. You are talking to yourself. She will not listen to you. She only obey my instructions. I make her angry and she'll be quiet. I'll be talking to her in her heart and she'll be acting according to my command. Whatever I send her to go and do, she cannot stop. She must add it. And after she finish, she will regret but she don't know what is pushing her. Sometimes when she finds somebody, after the anger left her, she will be ashamed of herself. I didn't away from the person. I enter through anger. If she's angry, I enter and I use her. I use her to torment people around her. I use her to make people around her unhappy. She fights. She sought, she calls you sort of name, and she be happy, laughing, clapping, jumping that she will win you. I enter her through anger, and that anger came on his own. Nobody will provoke her. She will just be there. She will tell that man that she's living with. I don't know what something is making me angry, and I don't know that that is making me angry. It's ringing. Is me coming. I am coming to operate. Then I will send anger in her. And through that anger, I will enter. Then she will develop a trouble. And she start making problems with people around her. I am spirit of anger. I am Lucifer. I am a chance God. I operate in her. We are many. We are many. She is stubborn. She is stubborn. She always say, I don't belong to them. And no pastor can deliver me. I am not possessed. I am holy. <laughs> what caliber of people do you possess and destroy? Uh, <laughs> I possess many. 
Many have been dedicated to me. <laughs> Through their parents, they'll be going here and there for protection. Protect my children. <laughs> and I will dedicate them to me. And I will use them as my agents in this world to cause confusion. Wherever they are, confusion must be. <laughs> People should let me be. Let me go. Fire. <laughs> Can't you see? My hands, my legs are in trouble. I want to go. I want to go. <laughs> Fire. Fire. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you, Satan, what have you done so far? What have you done so far? <laughs> what have you done so far to her? <laughs> she wants to make it. She Speak wants louder. To make it. She wants to be rich. She wants to be blessed by God. And each time I see light in her, I see, I see as if she's about to make it. I will send anger in her heart. And when she's angry, she cannot think of anything good again than destruction. And she will try to destroy everything they have worked for, including her husband. Things. She will be destroying. They are into Portugal. Each time that she's angry, their chicken will start dying. The chicken will start dying. And she gets herself back. She be say, God, please help me protect the chicken. I'll be laughing. <laughs> I'll destroy. And then we go back to zero. As I'm speaking now, they are zero. <laughs> they even manage to come here. They manage even capital to come here is a war. They have to source all we have for the capital to visit here for the invitation. I try to stop it by causing trouble in the house. I cause trouble. I make her go back in anger again. She get angry on her husband. Her husband left the house without telling her and she's angry. I entered. I do that thing so that they are coming here will not work out. I did it. I want to stop them from coming here. I want to stop them from coming here. But I don't know. I fell. But I never fell. No. <laughs> you people just let me be. <laughs> What is in this place, the city of Jesus International Ministry, that destroys all of you, the unseen enemies of humanity? <laughs> Speak louder. <laughs> what is in this place that destroys you, evil spirits, the unseen enemies of humanity? Satan you are a and your evil agents. You are a snatcher. You are snatching our people away and causing destruction in our kingdoms. We hate you. We hate you. You are snatching our people away from us. You are just a snatcher. But let this one go. Let this one go so that I fulfill my mission. Let her be. <laughs> Question, you did not answer my question. What is in the city of Jesus International Ministry that destroys all of you, evil spirits? <laughs> Fire. <laughs> what is in this place that destroys all of you evil spirits? 
Can't we hear it? I don't want to mention it. It's burning me. What? what is in this place that destroys all of you? Answer me quickly. I say fire. Fire, fire, fire everywhere. How have you been using her negatively to influence other women, either in her place of work or at home? How have you been using her to influence other women to disobey their husbands? Explain that part quickly. They see her as a role model. <laughs> Say that again. They see her as a role model. <laughs> they see this woman as who? A role model. <laughs> In what way? Whatever she teaches them is fine. And when they go back to their various houses, they practice it. <laughs> and they will come back to tell me what they do. <laughs> what <laughs> has she been teaching other women? Married women <laughs> and single ladies to do. I teach them to be stubborn and to answer their husband with a rude voice and call him names to make him angry and fight him. How? <laughs> you fight your husband. You will insult him and make him angry. Even when he's at peace, you find a reason to make him angry and you fight him. And when they finish, when we meet the next market day, they will tell me, eh, come and tell you a story. I fight my husband. He said, I'm a trouble woman. I tell him that I'll give him more trouble. I will laugh and tell them. He tells the things that they are wise. They are stupid and foolish. I do call them in house, Mumu. <laughs> We manipulate, we control. <laughs> when the husband became afraid of you, he will be afraid not to make you angry because of the anger. Can you explain that part? There are many men that are suffering. <laughs> they are being oppressed at home. <laughs> Some of their husbands don't even come back home. They want to go back house. If they remember that their wife, they will find a place to hide. Because we fight. <laughs> what do you normally tell those wives or these those men to do? Or these men to do? I will tell them they are your husband. Do not give them that authority to rule over you. <laughs> you have to control them. Tell them what to do. You like tell, what? And uh, you tell your husband what to do. Husband, you're supposed to do this. Don't you see that you're supposed to do this? When you say, are you controlling me? You say, why won't I control you? I'm not your wife. And anger. Quarreling will start from there. And our type, we don't get tired of quarreling you. <laughs> you can quarrel for one year. <laughs> you are the man. You will run out of the house. We will wait for your coming back. I used to tell them that no man can send me away from his house. I will be the one to send him away and dominate the place. And that is our mission. Mans are not sending us away from their house. We send them away from their house. If we see a man running, he will run away from his house. If you tell him, why are you running away from his house? He says he's tired of his wife's trouble. And we dominate, we'll be happy. We say, yes, we are pursued that idiot. Men come back now. T -t -t say he's a man. Men can't challenge us now. <laughs> <laughs> Say more. There are so many women that are filing for divorce. They are happy when they separate and move from one man to another. They will tell you, I have sacked him. They will tell you, I have sacked him. I have sent him away. Another one is on the way coming. I have everything to get another man. What do you know? And what can you say about things like this? You unclean spirits. When we are done with you, <laughs> we see that we are finished with you, and you refuse to run away. <laughs> we divorce you, <laughs> and immediately we divorce you. Give us two months, we marry another one. <laughs> 
And when we marry that one, that one we think he don't get better wife. <laughs> Smarter will give him his own portion. <laughs> what portion do you use to give to men like that? They are listening. Trouble. <laughs> Fighting. <laughs> when you come back, we first of all welcome you. <laughs> you are welcome. <laughs> we think that it's a reasonable welcome. We are welcome to another mission. Another, another what? Another mission. What mission? Another vision of trouble. We find a word to start. <laughs> we call you. <laughs> oh God, this one, this one. <laughs> Why it did not happen like this? And when you try to explain, you want to explain according to our will. And when you did not do it that way, <laughs> fight. <laughs> trouble. <laughs> we will not cook for the house. We will not feed the children. We will not bath the children. We sleep all day. All day so that the, the husband will be angry. Why didn't you cook? Don't you have fun to cook? Am I not cooking? If you want to eat, cook. Why didn't you bath the children? Are they not your children? If they are dirty, bath them. I want the man to be the slave of the house. Where we dominate. <laughs> How many men have you enslaved? Caused to be enslaved in this manner all around the world? Many of them. <laughs> Do you only enslave black people or everyone all around the world? You all able All around the world. <laughs> Speak louder. All around the world. <laughs> I will say, I even sing it as a song. I will never walk in any man's shadow. <laughs> sing that your weakest song. <laughs> I will start. When we start, when they have start having misunderstanding with the husband, we hear her singing. I will never walk in any man's shadow. Never. Leave her. Let her demonstrate. Demonstrate the way you normally do it. I will never walk in any man's shadow. I will never walk in any man's shadow. Any man around me must obey me. <laughs> Those of you that are like this, you cannot even prepare something for yourself, for your husbands, for your children, and for members of your husband's family. You are always offended. You sleep all day, not working. You don't pay anything. You don't take care of yourself nor anybody. And yet you want to rule. Are you not seeing the kind of evil spirits that possess you to operate? Repent. You have succeeded in making your own kind of law to protect your evil actions. And I'm seeing deliverance coming to the system of governance. You cannot continue to manipulate you evil spirits. Now say more. There are a lot of women like this. They don't even do anything and no one can correct them. <laughs> Speak louder. There is one. Her husband has been operated. Just two weeks, she starts fighting him. She was telling her that I wanted to use his stick to hit him on that operating part so that he will die. And she replied, No, tell me, say, I'm eating you that one. No, my hand, no, death. If you keep pressing, are you that one concerned? <laughs> and the lady said, I'm just making that, making fear. I wasn't intention to hit him with that stick. But if you provoke me again, I will kill him. I tell her not to kill anybody. <laughs> I don't send you. I only send you to make trouble, not to kill anyone. <laughs> what about men? What about men? There are so many men that are also heartless and extremely wicked. They are not willing to work. They are not willing to take care of their own wives. They are not willing to provide for the family, nor their children. They are not willing to do anything meaningful that are to bring a family to, or into a conducive atmosphere. What do you also know about this kind of attitudes? In this kind of men. What do you know? Speak quickly, you evil spirits. Some of them <laughs> will use their wives against them. When they are tired of trouble, they will lose out to another woman outside. Thinking that we get protection, that we get happiness from keeping girlfriends out there. 
<laughs> we sent another demon to them <laughs> through fornication. <laughs> we enter the man, <laughs> and the man will forget about his family. <laughs> he will be following guests from this girl to another. <laughs> you said such a man will be following girls. Yes. What kind of sin? <laughs> Will such man be committing sin of what? Fornication. You that claim that you are so handsome and rich, or you are well positioned, you are famous, and you are promoting adultery, fornication, lies of sexual immorality. Are you not seeing the kind of evil spirits that possess you? Are you not seeing that now? Now say more, what other things do you push men uh, to do? What other evil things do you push men to do? Marry and remarry. Say that again. Marry and remarry. How? Come down and explain everything. How? You will think the first wife is dead. <laughs> Let me go and marry another. That will give me joy. That we settle down together. <laughs> The first wife will be an angel to the second one you are marrying. In fact, the second one can even kill you. Say that, even, say that part again. The second one can even kill you. She don't get what she want from you. Because she knows you have a wife and you are coming for her. She, may, she have a purpose of coming to you too. What purpose? She, she needs something from you. Maybe you are rich. <laughs> she wants your money. <laughs> or she wants anything from you. She wants to gain something from you. She will pretend to be a good wife so that she can get what she wants. How do they pretend? What kind of character do they put on? Fake one do they put on? First Just to all, capture the man. First of all, the man will explain the bad character of the former wife. <laughs> and they will Thing where they will reason that and they will act on good part. Each anywhere the wife is faulty, they will try to be good on that part. They will do everything to make the man feel at home with them. When the man gets married with them, they will now sit back and look for what they are there for. And when they not get it, the next option is how to destroy the man because the man have deceived them and did not fulfill their promise. <laughs> And the man will be looking for a way to go back to your former family, no way again. And the man will be destroyed. Some of them get frustrated and die of high BP. <laughs> Do you also have access to ministries, ministers, churches, and other sectors of life? If yes, explain, <laughs> you evil spirits. <laughs> We have our own churches. We don't have time. Say that again. We have our own churches. <laughs> we don't have time, time to the church of the other side. But in our own churches, we operate. <laughs> How do you mean? You said you have your own churches. There are many pastors we are using. <laughs> we give them power. <laughs> How? Explain that part. How? <laughs> we use them to win souls to our kingdom. <laughs> Say that part loud and clearly. We use many pastors to use souls, win souls to our kingdom. <laughs> we give you power to do miracles so that people will believe on you. And when they troop in, <laughs> we possess them and we give them confusion. <laughs> Who are you people that possess ministers that came for you for evil powers? <laughs> Who are you evil spirits? Who are you? You <laughs> are my spirit and ancient God. Oh, Lucifer. How do you normally have access to people and then use them to form your own church <laughs> and to carry out your evil missions? <laughs> And win souls for your <laughs> evil kingdoms. How? <laughs> they are lazy youth there. <laughs> looking for how to make it quickly. <laughs> what do they used to look for? What are the things they used to look for? They look for a means to hammer. <laughs> they see ministers of God making it. Riding private jet. They go say, nah, nah, wow. This one a business. <laughs> Say that part again. They say what? No, nah, no, nah, wow. This one a cool business. <laughs> they will start looking for power. <laughs> you mean <laughs> such people see ministries, churches, 
as a business center <laughs> where they can make money. Yes. Yes or no? Yes. <laughs> Explain. <laughs> we, they will look for power and we give them power. They will perform in miracles. Where do they look for the power? They will start going from church to church. They will start going from where to where? From church to church. There are some pastors that give impartation. They will say they will impart you. You will be doing miracles as they are doing. When they go there, they will collect their consultant's fee. They collect their consultant's fee. They will not do them anything. And the person will be angry. I know where these people are getting their power. I know where they are getting their power. And they will start going from native daughter to another. From one marine ancient worshippers to other. They will ask for power. If you give me power to win souls to church, to make money, I will come back to praise you. And they will give them power. They will give them rings. Bathing soap. They will give them some things to keep in their altar. And they will start preaching. <laughs> there are so many people that are putting on various rings. And there are so many people that have been giving such soaps to bath with. There are other people that are also giving some so-called spiritual items. Explain all these things one by one. <laughs> and the source of these things. <laughs> When you come for us for a power, we give you so many items. We give like what? To mention their names. We give you salt, bathing soap. We give you honey. We will tell you to tell your members anywhere they want to go. They want to get something from that place. They should put the honey in their mouth. Anything they speak, anybody around them will believe them. We give them the water to bath. We tell you that that water attracts wet. And when you bath with that water, hey, you connect to our kingdom. <laughs> Instead of attracting wet, we attract destruction and sickness in your body. And you go back to the pastor, you may not find him again. Because he's, he's facing his own trouble, he will run away. <laughs> Say more, there are some that are going to the riverside <laughs> in the name of church. They want to wash this wash that, use this item and use that item. What do you evil spirits know about these things? They are our members. Speak louder. They are our members. How do you our mean? Pastors. What makes someone your evil member? We connect with them. We possess them. We walk through them. We are spirit. We cannot walk on our own. We need a vessel to walk through. Then we use them to work. You come for deliverance. They will ask you that you should go to water. We bath you and deliver you. We use pigeon blood to bath you and deliver you. <laughs> I invite more trouble into your life. <laughs> what, do, what used to happen to people that go into such a place, get themselves showered and washed in this manner? What used to happen to their spiritual lives marriages, careers, destinies, and future. For the first stage, <laughs> we give you a little bit blessing and make it work easy. <laughs> we think you have arrived. <laughs> we give you like months and two months, you'll be seeing trouble. <laughs> we destroy your marriage. We go out to kill their children, destroy their business, and make them nothing. <laughs> And when you run back to your pastor, your pastor will say you have broken the covenant and the anger of God is upon you. <laughs> what if they are using Bible in such a place and even calling the name Jesus Christ in such a place? <laughs> using Bible. that name Jesus Christ to pray and using Bible to even preach and demonstrate. <laughs> We use Bible. <laughs> Speak louder. We use Bible. <laughs> we use, we call the name Jesus. <laughs> what is the difference between the name Jesus Christ that people like Apostle Peter used to heal, to heal the man at the beautiful gate? What is the difference between that name Jesus Christ and the name Jesus Christ this kind of your evil agents are calling? 
What is the difference? <laughs> the difference is the power <laughs> and the authority. What power? <laughs> power from here. <laughs> and the authority from here to use that name. <laughs> if you are not giving power and authority from here to use that name, <laughs> the name will be meaningful and in vain. <laughs> you just now, call it for calling sake. <laughs> say that again. <laughs> if you are not using power from here <laughs> and the authority from here, <laughs> the name will be in vain. <laughs> <laughs> you are just calling it for calling sake. Nobody will answer you. <laughs> now, this is the city of Jesus International Ministry. And this is me, Christopher Oji. You have also explained your kind of churches and ministers. What do you have to say about this place? And about me, Christopher Oji. <laughs> <laughs> speak quickly, you evil spirits. I said it, there is fire here. <laughs> speak louder. There is fire here, we hate you. <laughs> you are snatching our people. <laughs> now make it clear, are you also using this ministry or the minister of God here, Christopher Oji, as you have been using other people? Yes or no? No. Speak louder. No. <laughs> Why did you say no? Why? Why can't you use Christopher O.J. and the City of Jesus International Ministry Let him remove the, the way you have been using others? Tell him to remove the fire. Speak louder. Remove the fire. I send more fire to all of you. No. Holy Ghost. No. In the name of Jesus Christ. No, no, no. Now speak quickly. Remove the fire. Who gave Christopher OJ the fire? Where is the fire coming from? The fire is coming down from above. Speak louder. The fire is from up there. Coming from who? From his master. God or Satan? His master, his master. Who is his master? I have no business with him. Now answer me. Is his power, strength, anointing and grace coming from God or from Satan? From his master. Who is your own master? Speak louder. I am the who? Lucifer. <laughs> and who is the master of Christopher Orji? I don't know him. I don't have business with him. Is his master light or darkness? <laughs> He's fire. Speak louder. He's fire. Now answer me. Is the master of Christopher Orji light or darkness? We are the master of all darkness. He don't belong to us. We don't know him. We don't know him. Say that again. We are the master of all darkness. <laughs> Does Christopher OJ belong to you, darkness? <laughs> yes know. or no? We don't know you. We don't know you. <laughs> Does the power Christopher OJ use? Does the power that is being used in the city of Jesus International Ministry belong to darkness? We don't know him. We don't know his power and the source of his power. I don't know. His power causes destruction to our kingdom. Which kingdom? We are darkness. We are darkness. We don't have anything to do with his power. We don't need his power. He destroys a lot in our kingdom. He snatch our people away. <laughs> we are angry with him. What are the things he has destroyed in your evil kingdoms? <laughs> Mention them. <laughs> what are the things Christopher O.J., <laughs> as you claimed, has destroyed in your evil kingdoms? He sent fire. Mention them. He sent fire. And the fire burn our kingdom. He destroyed many things. He set so many so free. <laughs> and make us powerless. We cannot operate. <laughs> he cage us down. <laughs> and we become useless. 
<laughs> he sent us to the winds and we'll be wanderers. <laughs> Can't you see he's our enemy? <laughs> we need vessels to walk. <laughs> and he separate us from those vessels and make us wanderers. <laughs> <laughs> what about those who believe that Christopher Oji is using the power of darkness? What message do you have for them? They are listening to you. <laughs> they are <our> people. <laughs> Speak louder. They are our people. <laughs> Which people? <laughs> the kingdom of darkness. We use them to convince people <laughs> so that they will not come here and be free. <laughs> How many people have you blocked, <laughs> deceived, and possibly stopped from coming to the City of Jesus International Ministry many of them. for deliverance? How many? Many of them. <laughs> what do you use to use to stop them? What do you normally tell them? They will tell you that you can pray inside your room and God will answer you. Say that again. You can pray inside your room and God will answer you. You mean you used to tell them that they can do it themselves? Yes. Say that to yourself. Yes. What do you used to tell them? Yes. That what? <laughs> God is everywhere. You can pray and God will answer you everywhere. You don't need to go to any place to waste your money. Those people are counterfeit. <laughs> they are businessmen. <laughs> That will deceive you and collect all your money and leave you with trouble. Just go direct to God. Your problem will be solved. And we will think Have they not prayed? Have they not prayed? They don't pray. Have they not prayed? They don't pray. Their prayer is thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. That we lie down and we operate. Have they not fasted? No. They are not fasting. They are not fasting at all. They have nothing to do with God apart from Jesus' name. Amen. They will lie down. How many of them like this have you destroyed and kept in your evil cage of captivity, hardship and poverty all around the world? Many. In the name of I can do it myself? Many. How many? Many thousands of people. As they are listening to you, your evil confessions, you evil spirits. What do you think will be happening to them? What do you believe is happening to them now? Now that your evil secrets are exposed. <laughs> the wise one will escape. <laughs> Say that again. The wise ones will escape. <laughs> are you not seeing the kind of languages your siblings are, say are speaking? Your friends have been saying. Even those that will sit in ungodly places where they smoke, drink, and say other terrible things are collectively saying, leave him! He's one of those fake. Are you not seeing the kind of evil spirits that possess them? And you are believing them. Repent. You have been sitting in your darkness, swimming in your poverty, You have been very comfortable in your sicknesses and diseases. And God is the healer, the deliverer, the freedom giver, and the blessing provider. And God is living here and will continue to live here. And you are very close and you are lacking. Repent. How else do you operate? What else do you do? And say to them. <laughs> I will say to them, <laughs> don't go there. They will tell you, say, your mother and I witch. You will start hating your mother. Now your uncle, they kill you. <laughs> you will start hating your uncle. Those people are mean to cause confusion. Just pray to your God inside your bedroom. God will hear you. <laughs> Anytime they don't come to a place or go to a place, they will be truly delivered. Where do you, Lucifer, and all the powers of darkness push them to go? Where do you push them to look for solution? Where? Many places. Which places? There is some amazing one. Native doctors that are working for us. <laughs> they will bath you in a river. <laughs> they will carry razor and cut all your banner of body. I say they are protecting you. They are giving you power. They will... Take your blood to our kingdom and we'll be caged there 
will be tormenting you. We have your blood. We have means to operate through you. They How do you use to collect their blood and go into evil covenants with them? <laughs> How? <laughs> the native daughter will raise on you, on part of your body, and they will use calabash to collect your blood. And when they collect your blood, after you left, they will bring it to us. <laughs> what used to happen to people like this? Their marriages, careers, <laughs> health, lives, and their purpose on earth. What used to happen to them anytime they are into this kind of evil covenant? You make them zero. You make them what? Zero. When one is made to be at a zero level, what does that mean? What life does such person live? What does the person experience? You look, look for a miss. You behave or you, you act in a manner of, I can't even explain it. You be engaged in all evil artists. <laughs> you be a thief. You be a liar, a drunkard, a smoker, a foster. Nothing you cannot do. You become an agent of darkness. Mention them. You say <laughs> a, a liar, a froster. Mention all of them. Calm down and say everything. You become a womanizer. One. A drunkard. Two, a liar. Three, a thief. Four, a foster. Five, you become. I, I, you will be acting in an evil way. We will be using you. How? <laughs> Say everything. There, there is terrorism everywhere. Corruption. <laughs> Anywhere you enter, there will be trouble. <laughs> what kind of trouble? You make trouble, you fight people, you cause confusion, you become an idol, you become idol. A workshop of devil. <laughs> you only sit back. Think of how to commit evil. <laughs> you have nothing good to do to yourself. You'll be planning evil. <laughs> evil. Anywhere, anywhere you enter is evil. You've mentioned frosters. <laughs> what about other areas like terrorism <laughs> and terrorists? What do you know about these kind of spirits that are behind such acts? What do you have to say about them? Explain, you evil spirits. They are being possessed. They are what? They are being possessed. By who? By devil. To do what? To kill and destroy. Who is the source of the strength of such people? It's Lucifer. Speak louder. You give them a stone heart. You give them what? Mercy. You give them what? Stone heart. Say that again. Stone heart. They don't have no mercy in them. (laughs) There was a testimony of a brother that talks about how he was wickedly treated. What do you know and what can you say about such things that are happening in various places in the world? Explain. Those people are our worshippers. Speak louder. (laughs) They are worshippers. How do you mean? Explain. (laughs) How? (laughs) Who are you that claimed that they worship you in this manner? Who are you? Mention your names again. They are Lucifer. They worship us and our agents. They bow before us. They are our people. We use them to cause destruction, killing, pain. Expose everything and say all you have been using them to do secretly. You evil spirits. I use them to kill to destroy and to bring people down. <laughs> when they capture you, they will demand for a ransom and you sell everything you have. You borrow money to save your own from them. And after they leave that person, you people will be zero. <laughs> and when you fail to give, they will kill the person. They will split the blood and we lick it. We'll be happy. <laughs> <laughs> they use the blood to appeal to us to give them more power to operate <laughs> describe their evil modes of operation explain everything <laughs> you said you have been giving them power to operate meaning you are the source of their strength and power expose everything Give them power. <laughs> no one can oppose them, even the government of the land. 
They don't have soldiers to fight them. <laughs> we give them power. <laughs> the now, fight. can your evil strength or power overcome the strength and power of the living God Almighty, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit? Yes or no? No. He Why? destroy us. Speak louder. He destroy us. If all of you that are hiding within this lady are finally destroyed, what will happen to all the captives? What will happen to the nations you have possessed and have been destroying? They will be free. Speak louder. They will be free. Speak louder. They will be free. They will be free. Who will give them that freedom? The master up there. Speak louder. The master up there. Who will give them that freedom? <laughs> the master up there. What uh, is his name? I don't know. Huh? <laughs> right now, I send fire to the master of the kingdom of darkness. And I command you to call the name. Holy Ghost, from the name of Jesus Christ, now call the name. What is the name of the master that will bring freedom to the captives? What is the name? What is the name? Right now, I send fire to Satan, Lucifer, serpent, ancestral spirits, spirit of terrorism, kidnapping, robbery, spirits in charge of scamming activities, fornication, drunkenness, Lust, bitterness, rebellion, adultery, masturbation, Holy Ghost fire, 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 fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, call his name. What is the name of the master? You said he's up there that will set everyone free. What is his name? That name caused destruction. In Speak our... louder. That name caused destruction in our kingdom. You've got no choice than to call his name. <laughs> and the hour is now. <laughs> I send fire to you, Satan, <laughs> Lucifer. Turn <laughs> the name of Jesus Christ. Now call his name. What is his name? <laughs> Say it clearly. Say it clearly. Jesus. Say it clearly. Jesus. Speak and answer me quickly. Jesus. 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 Complete his name. Jesus. Jesus. Complete his name. Jesus who? Second name. Call it quickly. Jesus. Jesus. Complete his name. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Right now, I stretch my hand and I send the spirit of Jesus Christ into her soul, spirit and body. And I command deliverance to take place now. Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus Christ. The heart of the stone is destroyed. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ, Satan and his evil kingdoms and agents are completely destroyed. Yeah. Fire! 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 I send fire to heavens, spiritual realms, the sun, the moon. All planets, 
galaxies, stars, orbits, all creatures, deserts, forests, places in the visible and an invisible world, and I command deliverance to take place. Holy Ghost, turn the name of Jesus Christ. Turn! I send fire to the occult world and kingdom, witches and wizards, when and kings of darkness, governance systems of all nations, and I command deliverance to take place. Turn the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, for the freedom of everyone. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, God is the source of your strength. Tell the viewers, say viewers, God is the source of your strength. Say neighbor, the living God Almighty, Jesus Christ. And the Holy Spirit are sources of my strength. My name is Ebere Joseph. I'm coming from Kaduna. The man standing beside me is my husband. The man standing beside me is my husband. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for this wonderful day. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.